Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to this little corner of downtown and underground Atlanta. Uh, I'm A.J. Robinson, the president of Central Atlanta Progress in the Atlanta Downtown Improvement District. Thank you for being here to commemorate the Downtown Atlanta Urban Tree Planning Plan, the blueprint for action and implementation for the next decade of tree planting here. The mission of this plan centers on increasing tree canopy cover in downtown, subsequently improving air and water quality, creating shade, and enhancing the district's aesthetic. Although lovingly nicknamed the city in the forest, the core downtown area of Atlanta only has a 3% canopy average, tree canopy coverage, compared to the overall city tree coverage of over 47 percent. So in doing so, we are going to uh, double the tree coverage by planting upwards of 8,000 trees over the next 10 years and, of course, make our community a lot more livable. Central Line of Progress in the Downtown Improvement District and Trees Atlanta created this plan as a joint effort with the City of Atlanta and Georgia Department of Transportation. I want to just introduce two of our my guests here today. One is our, our uh, ch board chair of the Improvement District, Craig Jones. Craig, raise your hand. Thank you for being here. And also, uh, Sh Shanil Alani, who's the owner of Underground. Shanil, thank you also for being here. Uh, and it's now my pleasure to introduce someone who's been making lots of appearances downtown recently, uh, the hardest working mayor I know, Mayor Andre Dickens. <laughs> Thank you, AJ. Thank you. Um, it's good to be here uh, with all of you today. And thanks to Underground Atlanta, Chanel, for graciously inviting us and hosting us here today. It's good to see my council uh, uh, here, uh, Council Member Wes Moreland and Council Mayor, Member Amir Faroki, and also our uh, Commissioner of uh, Parks and Recreation, uh, Justin Cutler. And so climate action is key, is a key uh, central component of my administration. Last November, Atlanta was uh, one of the only one of only 122 cities across the entire world uh, that was named on the CDP A list for ambitious leadership on climate objectives. You see three key dimensions of that action right here today: attracting residents of all incomes back into our urban core, uh, where we can enjoy a high quality of life and fewer trips uh, by car, uh, and then placing density and neighborhoods serving retail around our high quality transit infrastructure from MARTA Heavy Rail to uh, the BRT system that's going to come up here from Summer Hill. And then adaptive reuse of our existing building stock to provide more affordable, uh, less carbon intensive spaces for Atlanta families to live, work, and learn. There's a fourth dimension that's just as important, and it's especially near and dear to our hearts here in Atlanta, protecting and growing Atlanta's urban tree canopy, our most beautiful and most powerful nature-based tool for climate resilience. Although we're luckily, uh, lovingly named the city in the forest, our tree canopy is unevenly distributed across this city, and some neighborhoods have major deficits. Although, uh, as just as uh, AJ mentioned, Atlanta's downtown only has a 3% tree canopy coverage compared to the citywide average of 48%. So downtown, 3%. Citywide average is 48%. Uh, the lack of tree cover downtown combined with the concentration of paved surfaces and uh, wasted heat from vehicles and buildings creates an intense urban heat island that is in the center of the city. Uh, some streets in downtown have no trees at all, uh, creating hot and uncomfortable spots and barren landscapes. And so, thankfully, that's starting to change. Central Atlanta Progress and the Atlanta Downtown Improvement District and Trees Atlanta, uh, with support from the City of Atlanta and GDOT, created the Downtown Atlanta Tree Planting Plan in 2021, which, as AJ stated, sets out to double at downtown's tree canopy to 8,000 trees over the next 10 years. Trees will be planted along downtown streets. Doing so will add uh, to cooling our streets, help manage storm water, and remove air pollutants. It will make our streets safer and more comfortable for pedestrians and cyclists, while also protecting our vulnerable residents, like our seniors, from rising temperatures and severe weather events like heat waves that we've seen in the past. So for so, 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 so thank you to our partners. We have already made significant progress in phase one, planting more than 2,000 trees over the last three years. 
And today, I'm proud to announce that we're doubling down on our already ambitious uh, commitment to grow our tree canopy. We're accelerating our timeline, and we're going to do this all within five years instead of 10 years, y'all. We're going to move it up, we're gonna speed it up. So we're going to have 8,000 trees planted over the next five years versus uh, 10 years, because we want to see this stuff happen in our reasonable, you know, short time here. <laughs> All thanks to our downtown improvement district, Central Atlanta Progress, and our friends at Trees Atlanta. Today's annou announcement is a testament to the power of our public and private partners coming together to move Atlanta forward. This also underscores our commitment to reactivating and revitalizing downtown Atlanta through downtown Atlanta through holistic investments in healthy, thriving, resilient neighborhoods. We are well on our way uh, to making Atlanta the best city in the country to raise a child. Thank you to our partners and thank you all again for joining us today. And now I'll turn it over to Greg Levine from Trees Atlanta. Greg. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. So there was a time uh, in downtown when there was actually 0% co cover. And it was as early as the 80s. We almost had no trees downtown. Today, we do have 3% canopy. Um, and with this plan, that low percentage will be a thing of the past. Atlanta's downtown will be getting 8,000 trees, as you've heard from AJ and the mayor. Um, it will raise the downtown canopy to 18% as these trees continue to grow. These trees will create a healthier city with cleaner air and water for people living and working in neighborhoods in and around downtown. As you all know, trees fight pollution, improve air quality, reduce asthma rates for the most vulnerable, our elderly, and our young children. These 8,000 trees will reduce flooding in nearby neighborhoods like Summer Hill, Vine City, and People's Town that have been overlooked in, co in tree coverage in the past. And as heat-related deaths increased due to the effect of climate change and rising heat island temperatures, we need more trees as part of this, this solution to cool down temperatures. These downtown trees will create a more livable city center. Green tree canopy on our downtown streets is certainly beautiful but their presence is a sign of our city's movement towards a more sustainable urban development. As Atlanta grows downtown, trees can be a symbol of our city and the forest. This is our most exciting, largest project in Trees Atlanta has ever taken downtown, where we actually started um, in 1985. Our very first trees were just a couple of blocks away from here. And it was with our same partners, the City of Atlanta and Central Atlanta Progress. And we're very excited to continue partnering with them to come up with a solution to green our city. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Matt Westmoreland. I'm here representing my colleagues on the Atlanta City Council. Three quick thoughts. Um, one, this coming Monday, Amir and I are going to consider a piece of legislation outlining a goal of increasing Atlanta's tree canopy to 50% um, over the next five years. Um, and so the 8,000 trees, <laughs> while also continuing to encourage um, increased development and growth and density um, in Atlanta at the same time. The second is that Mayor Dickens touched on the project right behind us at Two Peachtree, but if you think about the next five years during which this project is gonna take place, and the work underway at Underground and in South Downtown with Newport and Centennial Yards across the way, um, the BRT line coming up from Summer Hill, the continued transformation of the Georgia State Campus, a fiscally responsible renovation of the Five Point Station. Um, the next five years are incredibly exciting and incredibly important for the future of this city. Um, and as you think about how this city needs to adjust in a post-COVID world um, in the amount of office buildings that exist here, um, what this project could mean for the continued transformation of downtown with thousands of more people in addition to thousands of more trees um, is an incredibly exciting prospect um, over the years to come. And then the third thought is, is most of the folks here were here 14 months ago to announce a 10-year plan 
Um, we're here today, 14 months later, to announce the acceleration of that plan from 10 years to five. So I'm excited to come back in 14 months from now and, and announce that we're actually going to finish this by 2024 uh, at the end of the year. So we'll keep that timeline going. Uh, and thank you all very much for coming today. All right, thanks everybody. Uh, we have some a few minutes for questions. Anybody from the yes, sir. My question is, what are we doing to protect the already canopy that's in place? Tree experts. So, um, a number of things right now. The uh, the uh, city actually changed the tree ordinance a few years ago so that they can spend recompense funds, the money that goes towards um, a, a bank of money when you can't plant enough trees back. And then we changed the ordinance so that we can buy forested land. And the city uh, pushed that through. And so we, are, we bought 200 plus acres last year. They're in the process of buying another 100, I think, this year. And I'm sure looking at other pieces of property as we... Uh, as time goes on. Um, also, uh, with this mayor, we have actually started to change the tree ordinance for the first time in over 20 years. Uh, we have some components that we're already, I think, have, have they been voted on? Yeah, they have been voted on. There's a second phase. And we're going to start looking at, um, at how we can raise the recompense fees to 20 years later. You know, right now we're paying 2,000 prices. We can't really replace trees for that. That's on the next group of ordinance changes. And also we're looking at more of the carrot versus the stick to try to get developers as, as they develop to, to preserve more trees on site. So th this next phase will be a little more challenging to get everyone to agree, but I know that the mayor and the city are very supportive of making a better tree ordinance. Could you go into a little more detail about the challenges that you do face about negotiating with developers about how many trees they have to have? Well, I mean, <laughs> Developers are there to make money, and they want to, you know, one of the things about preserving trees, sometimes it slows down that process and also reduces the amount of land that you can build on. So a lot of it, it's showing developers that you can actually develop a site and still protect trees. There are a lot of ways to do that. We're not reducing even the amount of uh, area you are building on. It's just doing a better job of protecting the trees that you are saving. So that's one way. I think uh, the other other components are coming into play. I know they're looking at, the city's looking at changing the zoning, um, requiring some more green space with some of our developments will be something that I think the city is definitely looking into. Uh, we don't want to be New York City, but New York City does have some requirements about how much green space and open space they do, even in their most dense, uh, dense part of their city. And I know the city's looking at similar things. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll, ju I'll just add to that that the the city has lots of partners like ourselves in different neighborhoods that try to take care of the trees that we have. And it, with the help of Trees Atlanta, I'm, they're, they're available to contract with to help you take care of your trees. Other questions? Yes, sir. We're going to have trees that have leaves. That's all I can tell you. <laughs> um, yes, they will have leaves. He's correct. Uh, the, the interesting thing is that uh, we actually had a master plan done by a, a landscape architecture firm, uh, Hughes Good O'Leary Ryan, in town. And the, we have about 20 or so species of trees that tend to do better in urban environments. Things like American elm, a lot of our oak trees do quite well. Uh, Tupelo, uh, and a few of the non-native trees like trident maple. So we have about 20 or so species for downtown. As we get further out, you can plant a more diverse amount of trees, uh, species of trees. Uh, one of the other things that we're doing specifically differently than we've done in the past is we're doing a lot of uh, infrastructure. So we're basically having more soil volume for those trees. We're figuring out creative ways to increase soil volume because if you want to have a large tree, you need to have a lot of soil for it. And so part of this plan, it's a very expensive plan, it's probably over $13 million, is to actually do things you don't see, like larger concrete uh, cutouts, figuring out ways to get soil around all the infrastructure underground. Sure. 
sure. <laughs> you just answered it all. Um, I mean, trees do a lot of obviously environmental good. The, I think one of the biggest things that we see in downtown is just the heat, the heat island effect. As uh, the mayor said before, there are a lot of the, the biggest uh, weather event that kills the most people in, in cities in America is heat and heat stroke. So the number one thing we can do is cool our cities and our streets so people can get from place A to place B out of their car and not get heat stroke. But also, as we have a possibility of our power grid issues, you want to be able to cool your buildings and your homes, which means we need to plant a lot of trees and prevent that heat, the city from becoming an even bigger hot pocket than it is today. We've got to figure out putting trees in every block, which the mayor had also mentioned that. Thank you, everyone. Thank At you. this time, we're going to do a photo op right here.